I've said this before, that you need to watch out with getting too deeply involved with common people. Because common people, when it comes down to it, they are far more dangerous than the Apollonistic transgendered elites that are governing the world. Now look, when you read in the Gospels, you can read that Christ became a carpenter. He was first an apprentice under Joseph, his stepfather, but he became a carpenter. Well, the translation is really a craftsman. So Christ had a job. Yes, he was employed. He worked. He grew up in Nazareth. And the region where Nazareth was located was a ghetto in that time. It was not a very pleasant place. Christ moved to Capernaum where he had his own place. Yes, Christ had his own house. I don't know how big the house was, where he was renting it or where he purchased it or built himself, but he had his own place. He worked as a craftsman in Capernaum and he had his own place. But one thing you must understand here, Christ did not bring people from his background with him. Why? Because Christ was not into settling for that job and for that house. He knew that at age 30 he would begin his ministry. And he knew that three and a half years after the beginning of his ministry, he would be killed, I would say crucified, he would be buried, and he would rise again. He knew he had a mission. So he knew that many of the people he had around him would not fit into that mission. He knew that those people would only hinder him. He knew that one day he had to give up being a craftsman in order to begin to travel around as a preacher. He had to give up that house also. But Christ knew that if he would have brought people from his background with him, they would have told them, Jesus, what, what are you doing, man? You have your own place here uh, near this lake. I mean, you're a craftsman. You have customers here. You speak Greek fluently. I mean, what the heck, man? You, you want to give it all up? They would have hindered him in his purpose. Now, look, there's nothing wrong with having a job. Okay, Christ had a job. Yes, between age, ages 12 and 30, well, his siblings, his half-siblings, uh, grew up, they married, and what did he do? He became a craftsman, he moved to Capernaum, where he had his own place. In Capernaum, he, where he worked, he also met people, he paid taxes, because you had to do that. And the city system was far more harsher then than now. Well, it's still harsh today. But Christ did not settle for that job and that house. There's nothing wrong with having a job and a house. Christ wanted to reach the whole world. He wanted to transform the whole world. But he knew that his future followers would be born and later born again. They would have to start from somewhere. So, he himself grew up in a ghetto. Despite that, he remained active, and when he had the chance, he left the ghetto, and he, he undertook things. He had his own place eventually, he had a job, and then he continued into his ministry. And look at this. Christ being away from the people from his background was his deliverance. Now, Christ didn't need any deliverance, but from a human point of view, it, that was his deliverance, because those people from his background, you can read later in the Gospels how they responded to him when he returns to Nazareth, and they saw the, the wisdom, I would say they heard the wisdom he had, and they saw that he, there were miracles working through him. They became offended because Christ exceeded their expectations of him. And they did not want to examine their own expectations. So they became enraged at Christ. They couldn't stand him. They didn't like him. They wanted him away. They turned on him. Christ knew this would happen. That's why he 
moved where he did to teach us. Okay? Look, you can have a job for practical reasons, but don't settle for it. Christ wants you to operate in financial abundance. Financial autonomy is his purpose for you. You can have financial autonomy and still go to work, but only because you enjoy the work. You like serving people, not because you need the job or else you're going to lose your house. You're going to get homeless. Some people, without a job, they're homeless and everyone would drop them. They would die on the streets. Christ wants you to be operative in the world, but not dependent of the world. Some of you are not there yet. That doesn't matter. Keep on going. Christ wants you to be financially autonomous. But also look at Christ's example. He did not bring everyone with him because he knew those people would turn on him. Hear me? He knew it. I want you to learn that. Well, that's it for now. I pray with Christ and be at peace.